This episode is brought to you by the guy from Buzz and Chill. This guy right there. I totally forgot about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually hear it. Fucking A. <laughs> Yeah, and welcome to yet another episode of your new favorite podcast, the podcast of Alonso Lopez. Okay, hold Lopez, on. Lopez, Lopez. Hey, Lopez, the people? Lopez. There's no people. There we go, ah. yes. There we go, yes. ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> it died, they were kind of like, they, it's, it's in English now, so like, I couldn't get like... The it's because they're nervous. Thing. Yeah, they're like, who's that? Like... <laughs> Is that guy right there? Guy or girl? I still get confused for a girl. Oh, yeah? Yep. Mm. It happens, I guess. Yeah, it still happens. True story. Like two, three weeks ago, I was walking out of the bathroom at Walmart. And there was this old guy coming in. And he looks at me. He's like, oh, my God. So he walks towards the girl's restroom. He looks at me. like, oh, my God. So it is girl's restroom. He comes back, but he does it like. And he goes into the guy's restroom. He's <laughs> like, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny man. like fucking going in there, like oops and then like a couple months ago I almost gave an old guy a heart attack like another true story he walks in I'm, and I'm peeing in the urinal he walks in and I turn around and I see him go like oh like sir it's okay you're in the Se right bath <laughs> <laughs> nah like I freaked him out long. he <laughs> I had to talk him down and it was it was funny. CPR though. at the end of the restaurant. No, fuck that. No. Like, he he was good. He was good. He was good. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the first time you come to this podcast, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm actually, a fan actually. Oh, he's a fan. So one of those five likes that Subscribe, I get. Subscribe, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Might be wondering why I say it in English now, since like technically he doesn't really speak Spanish. I do. You don't remember? Out, out of respect, us. he's doing it. <laughs> I, I was watching your Ninja Turtles beer review. Mm-hmm. You're like, it goes well with that um thing, whatever. I, I can't remember what they call. What did I say? Tortas. Torta. They're yeah, like, I'm like, no, it's conchas, way. <laughs> I'm bad with names. Yeah. I barely remember your name. Yeah, Mexican George. The only reason, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was like uh, in college. Yeah, yeah, in college. What about 15 years ago? But the thing about me is, kid, I, I I don't remember names, so I give out nicknames. That's my thing. You gave my name a nickname. I added the nickname. Yeah. So the name. Yeah. So technically, you do remember my name. It's complicated. I'm I'm a very complex man. <laughs> very complex man that gives heart attacks to old people in the restrooms. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you are an old person and you see this guy in the restroom, please do not panic. It's fine. Just go. I don't care. <laughs> bueno. All right. So in case you guys have seen it that I posted on my Instagram or social media stuff thing. Yeah, I, I only I only seen Instagram. your Instagram. Yeah, I usually use, use some more. Yeah. yeah. So this is the guy for the beer review, the best video review in the border or Laredo, or maybe the only one. Yes, that's cool. yes. Yeah. So listen, <laughs> chill. So tell, tell us about your podcast. I mean, no, YouTube channel, right? Yes. Yes, there you go. It's actually the first time somebody's asked me about a podcast. But technically speaking, I had a podcast, but it wasn't the booze and show. It was the, the review, thing, the right? lights, camera review. Yeah. But I had to kind of <clears throat> pull the plug on that because. It's it's too much work. But weren't you doing kind of like the same thing in a way? Kind of like, what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't that isn't that what you do? No. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Majority of the time, I complain about stuff. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The one about the kids. Oh, that one was good. Which one? The the last oh, one. Oh, the last one. Oh, it's, oh my god! Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, like I hadn't been into like a piñata in a while or whatever, and like. <laughs> Fuck! Get the pandemic affected parents, you know. The like, pandemic. <laughs> they forgot how to like take care of the kids yeah. at piñatas and stuff. Yeah. And, like God, people, come on, come on. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was fun. Yes. Well, for everybody else except you. Yeah. Yeah. For a little bit, that's right. You got like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. Los cuenegos. <laughs> so yeah, I had to tell us about how do you come up with the whole? Because I remember back when we used to hang out fucking early 20s you didn't mm-hmm. drink beer 
Which no, also, yes. No, you would be like, no, I don't, I don't drink beer. Like, you rarely drink beer. No. Yes. I experimented with alcohol at the age of 14. Sí, güey, pero casi no pisteabas, güey. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. Sí, <laughs> Yeah, because I remember uh, you'd be like, oh, like, casi no tomo, and I don't know what, and yada, yada, yada. Mm, at that, at those times, este, every Friday, because I would, I would skate a lot. We would go to the, we would hang out at the park, you know, after the park, we go hang out with my, my cuñados. And by the way, I'm going to share this. So if you're watching this, I'm, I'm going to mention this. Uh, <laughs> we would always go to my cuñado's house, beer and pizza. And, um. Sounds right. Yeah. And, um. I guess at that point I was already like getting to know my tolerance, which is at the age of two. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, this was uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I was like what? We're in our twenties. Right? You're talking, yeah. you said like in our twenties, and um, I I already got to know my tolerance. You know, people like this, the same group of friends. There's always one friend, Mario. Hey, I bet I can out drink you. And by the end of the night, he was the first one down. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, that's kind of why I guess I got into more like drinking, not like alcoholic wise, but uh, sure, just more trying, like sodas, just trying, Pepsi, yeah, yes, you know, like, pop, yeah, as they call it in Chicago or whatever, the up fuck. north, yeah. But um, I just got drinking, trying the diff different shit. People say it's alcoholism, but it's not. I. I, the difference between well, my definition of an alcoholic and a drunk is an alcoholic can't control his drinking. A drunk has to be drunk, or else he can't function. Or at least that's the way I see it. Well, an alcoholic cannot control his drinking. That's why he's an alcoholic. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but yes. <laughs> and that's the story of how he started with the whole buzz and chill. <laughs> now the booze and chill actually is the buzz and chill. Uh, what's it called? It started off as just an idea. And then um, some pretty bad stuff happened. And um, it got me thinking, like, I went through so, something so horrible, like horrible, horrible. And I just thought, like, you know what? It just brought it, brought it out of me. And I just decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. I set up the camera, put up the lights, and grabbed the first drink that kind of opened my horizons which was the guinness mm -hmm. and i'm like fuck it <clears throat> sat down press record that's what it started and that was already over two years ago okay that was though your first review thing right mm -hmm. like cool and then you started from there you realize you were an alcoholic and <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that something bad had to happen but it 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 brought it out of me so it's like something bad usually happens for something good to happen yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that's life, kind of like at the piñatas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you had to fucking beat the beat the parents up with the with the stick, the piñata stick. Be, there was no piñata. Parte la chingada. I know. Right? <laughs> Adele, que vas tú? Cuida tu pinche Adele. niño. Chile. Che perra. A ver, a ver. Muy chingada, muy chingada. No, ande, ande. No, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, parents don't do that. Remember, take care of your kids at piñatas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I might be a little bit guilty of that, maybe, but not really. Yeah, I'm all, I'm, I try to be behind my kids as, as much as I can. Yeah, like behind, like all the way over there. Well, like the, yeah, like behind the bar. Like no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, behind the bar, you know, like I'm over there. Like they're just, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Something they're just doing something over there. Like, and speaking of bar, I'm gonna pull this thing out. Oh, espérate. Not yet, not yet. Okay, all right. Oh, too oh, early, yeah, too early. Okay, I thought you meant the other. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> hello. No. All right. Well, what are you gonna take out? This. You got a little surprise. A little surprise. It's something I've reviewed before. Okay. It's a uh, Saint Bernardus. Uh, I think believe is German, if I'm not mistaken. German no, it's beer. It's actually French. <laughs> it's a German beer I reviewed, but the one I reviewed was a Christmas ale. Okay. So I'm not. I don't. I don't even know what this is gonna taste like. So this That's is new. Not a Christmas ale. No, not That's, this one. It's and, a regular uh, ale. Belgian. It's Belgian. Yeah, German. Well, not German. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and being that i am from a channel where you know i do this kind of things i come prepared he come prepared Ooh, with the fancy glass and everything beer tasting glasses sir yeah are we gonna do the whole sniffing and everything uh, i mean if you want sure even when i'm even, even when i'm not doing the booze i still do it that's just me being me i, mean, I think it's i think it's like everyone we all sniff stuff before you taste it yeah even though you don't even if you don't taste it kind of like you could yeah you know sniff the mic or something i'm not gonna lie i did smell it a little bit yeah before this started yeah, i kind of like the gizmo i saw you i'm out. sorry <laughs> Woo! i oh my god that smells good it smells yeah. good. I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna give you this one first. All right. Oh yeah, already looks good. It's dark. Woo! Oi, oi, cielos. Feel fancy now. Should I do the pinky thingy? You, if you, if you want. Oh, okay. So, in my experience of uh, drinking, it totally smells like beer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you pick up? What do you smell? I always like to see what other people can pick up. Mm. Can smell the alcohol. I smell grapes. Ah, chinga. Because <laughs> it has like a like a wine kind of smell, and and wines typically are made from grape. Nah. Yeah. No, for real. <laughs> like, holy <laughs> shit. No, I didn't know that. I guess I'm going wow. to put in my fun facts. You know, like. Subscribe now. <laughs> Click the buttons. <laughs> now, you know, the one is made out of grapes and stuff. Most of the time. Most of the time. Not all the time. I smell a little caramel. It smells like. Yeah, it smells like beer. It smells like beer? Yeah. All right. Cheers. Now, let's see what you pick up on the on the mouth. I ah <laughs> okay that one I that I, mean, one I set that one up on purpose. This is China's not for kids, but hey, <laughs> friendly too, okay. Oh my. Okay. Okay, okay. So what I pick up is beer. alcohol. Yeah, beer. <laughs> beer and alcohol. It actually tastes like um like coffee. It does have a little bit of. It's smoky. Yeah smoky coffee bean type of deal yeah. uh, that surprised me reminds me how is your tolerance <clears throat> i mean i'm mexican good point so you can handle 10 percent. i just 10 percent no mas no mas no hombre it's like when le entre los dos <laughs> no mames, it's like when uh when uh when they ask a mexican if it's spicy like, no no pica Actually, <laughs> fun story about ah. that no pica thing. Oh, uh, when I was in San Antonio last year, met a bunch of new friends, you know, like from different parts. By different parts, I mean San Antonio. And most of them were white, right? And yes, but but okay. So we went to we went gringos. to <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, we're gringos because you were born in the United States. So. Regardless, but technically, we're not. We're like a special blend of Mexican because we're not like the the brown looking Mexicans that you see here. No offense. <laughs> well, when it comes to that, it's really um, a paradox kind of thing. But no. just I like it. I mean dimensions. So, yeah, yeah, dimension. I mean that's that's, that's the weird multiverse. It all hippo. But going back <laughs> to the white people, I met over there. Now they're pretty cool. They're very cool, but like they're actually like like white, like Caucasian people, mm -hmm. right? Like Americans. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with like Hispanic. No, no Hispanic at all. Like blue eyes, white hair. Yeah, no, no Puerto Rican or whatever. Like you know, like straight up white people. And we went to like this wing place, right? Like I had never been there or whatever. And I like I like spicy wings, right? I mean, of course I like spicy wings, right? And then, because I was asking, like, I've never been there. Like, well, what do you recommend? This and that, yada, yada, yada. It's like, oh, like, this was really good. Some Cajun flavor or whatever. I do like Cajun flavor. It's good. pretty spicy, right? Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's Cajun. It's spicy, yada, yada. I had it before. It's really good. I just pause. I look at him. I'm like, is it like white spicy or spicy spicy? 
he laughs. He's like, no, pues, yeah, it, it's white spicy. Which means it's not. <laughs> exactly. Because I had actually like, I was like, okay, I'll try it. He said it tastes good or whatever. Let me try it. I never had it before. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. They bring them and everything. They look nice. Really nice color and everything. Had the first bite. I'm like. Salt. It's like it's like the Cajun Cajun flavor without the spice. Okay. O sea, no picaba. So yeah. I had Cajun, pero no picaba. No pica. Yeah. It's because like spice to them is salt. And pepper. A little bit of pepper. It's like literally just a little pinch. Mm-hmm. Mostly salt. But then again, like there were more people also like, <clears throat> I guess, Hispanic-ish or whatever that are not used to eating the same spice as we do. Or like not the spice, but in the sense of like the same salsa tolerance kind of like yeah. oh can you handle 10 percent of alcohol like can you handle like three chili serranos toreados can you handle orange pepper because <laughs> oh, i don't think they even like that shit either that one, that one, it's too spicy yeah, to it's them too spicy right <laughs> that's funny it's funny though but yeah oh man i'm glad we're like we can actually we're, we're born into a race where we can actually like eat and enjoy this because I have this conversation with a buddy of mine. Uh, shout out to my buddy, Julius. Uh, he's all, he's the one that actually says, like, yeah, why do people just put salt on their food? And it's sad. It really is sad. It's like eating just dull, salty, lightly salted chicken. Well, it would surprise you that actually in Mexico, some people, like, more into the center of Mexico, mm-hmm. down south or whatever. I want to say, I don't know, maybe, like, Mexico City and stuff like that. Not really sure, but I heard it. And I've seen people are from, like, Monterrey and stuff. That they don't season the food like the, no. like like the carne asada, like they don't season it like with sazon, paquita seasoning and stuff like that. Right? Please like, tell me it's religion. And it was Catholic over there, dude. Come on, like the majority is Catholic. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, dude, like they just season it with like salt and pepper and and that's, wow, that's about it. That's, that's about it. I don't, I can't, I don't believe it. That's that's about it. And actually, actually, I'll. You're, you're, lying. You you're lying. You're on lying. On Instagram, kind of like, <laughs> like search for those like uh, meat cooking people, whatever Instagram people. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They're from like Mexico, and you'll see that they're only gonna put pepper and salt on the meat. I guess I'm I'm not watching those videos because yeah. my my wife does that a lot. She watches chingos of those kinds of videos because she's always. Looking for another new thing to make at home because she likes making different types of food. Yeah. And the stuff that she sees, it's not just salt and pepper. It's, it's like they mix it up. I'm saying like, I guess depending on the region of the area kind of thing. I, I don't guess. Know. I mean, yeah. Because I still don't believe you. It's kind of like that. how people from Monterrey <laughs> call themselves like they're in the north, but technically they're in the south. That's confusing. <laughs> Is it? It's kind of like Game of Thrones. You know, I always say it like I always say it, like in a bunch of episodes, same thing. Because uh, they have like an Austin City Limits kind of thing mm-hmm. over there. Yeah, it's yeah. called uh, Tecate Pal Norte. It's called Tecate Pal Norte. And they do it in Monterrey because Monterrey is supposed to be up north. But then again, okay. it's like, I mean, if you're going by Mexico cities, Nuevo Laredo is in the north. So technically, they're in the south. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like when Game of Thrones happened, like the whole people like from beyond the wall, they were like, mm-hmm. no, we're, we're from the north. Yeah. Like. No, you guys are not. I'm like, no, yes. Except for the bastard. Like, you're from the south. I'm from the north. <laughs> no, like. Ah, uh, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, it's actually really good. That alcohol flavor and. Oh, I meant I meant the whole thing in general. <laughs> oh yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're great. I don't want you yeah. here anymore. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Try my best to be nice. Ah. <laughs> uh, Damn, but yeah, that's a good flavor though. It's uh, it's smooth, sweet, smoky, hickory. That should give me that vodka aftertaste flavor kind of. Fuck thing. guy aftertaste, like like a hooker spit. I had never had a hooker <laughs> spit on my mouth. That's <laughs> a that's a Family Guy reference. I don't know if you ever seen that episode. Let me see Family Guy, but I don't think I've seen that episode. No, no. it's a, it's a bunch of dudes uh, sitting on the table at a restaurant. Yeah, all suited up or whatever, just like this one right here. And they're like, uh, mm. I'm going to have this, and I'm going to have that. And they're just like, yeah, I'm going to just go have uh, Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams? At at 10 a.m.? I don't know what the fuck it was. 
Right? And don't you have like an outstanding DUI? You can check in. And you're like, yeah, well, I, I just need to get the, the the flavor of weed and hooker spit on my mouth. And then they pause. And you, one of the other guys, that was some Adams too. That's what I I love that episode. Uh, it makes me wonder. People actually have hooker spit on their mouth flavor thing whatever that's nasty i assume it's not pleasant but i guess it depends how much you're paying i assume i don't know i don't know it's funny because people would actually pay for that i don't think we have like expensive ones here <clears throat> or do we <laughs> <laughs> or do we <laughs> no i don't know but uh hey maybe maybe somebody will leave it in the comments you never know you know no. Uh, <laughs> no, let's not, not be, <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean, you and the other five people that usually <laughs> see my podcast. I don't, I don't think they'll know hey, about it. The more you know, you don't have to do it. It's just fun to know. I know, really like those. Which actually, now you say that it's fun to know. Like at work. Oh, hey. Uh, like at work, it's funny. Like I always like mess up, like mess with them or whatever, and this and that. I, I honestly, me, I like to annoy people. I like to make at people work. mad. Yeah, and everywhere, like not just at work. I'm the same way. So at work, I think that's why we get along. Maybe. Right? <laughs> so I had this thing that, and I think I mentioned it one time, uh, that one of my coworkers called me that Mister Know It All. Okay. Okay. Is that pretty? I'm like, oh, kind of. They're gonna say something. I'm like, oh, kind of like I know. They're kind of right, but they're missing something. Like, I know what they're missing, so I kind of, like, go in and, like, tell them, oh, it's because it's actually this and that, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that way, no, Mr. No, at all. And I don't want yada, yada, yada. And it's actually funny because I tell them, I like to know those pointless things that literally don't help a life at all. Yeah, same way. Right? Yeah. But since you don't know it, and I do know it, and you try to pretend like you know it, and I just go in and be like, no, you're wrong. And like get all pissed off. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. fucking enjoy that. No, yeah. I think, yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, because I, I think like knowing pointless information is kind of... It's, it's Yeah, it is it's power. power. It is power. It is power. It's the, it's the strangest kind of power, too, because it's like... What was the one? Oh, the one about the Tlacuaches. Did, did you know? Did you all know this? That Tlacuaches cannot have rabies. Yeah. You do know that. But not everybody does. Everybody thinks that they Dude, are filled with rabies. They call it tlacuache instead of tlacuache. Tlacuache? Yeah. Tla. T-L-A. T-L-A. Tlacuache. Not tlacuache. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Or sariwaya. Or what? Sariwaya. The fuck is that shit? Tlacuache. <laughs> sariwaya. That sounds like a fucking sandwich at Subway. Mm. The brand new sariwaya. Imagine. Footlongs anyway, yeah. <laughs> Contains no rabies. <laughs> or fleas. Or fleas. Because actually, yeah, they, they don't get fleas or anything. Mm-hmm. Because their body temperature is... is, is like uh, too low. Yes. Yeah. And people don't know that. People just think like, oh, they, they try to kill the little poor little bastards. No, they don't even do anything. I know. Like, they're just fucking like... They're like, like cats. Cute and everything. <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. like fucking cats. You can actually train them. That's another one. Mm-hmm. You can train them to fucking fetch you they shit. They can like hang on your fucking finger and just like exactly. chill there and stuff. That's fucking, I want to get one. I'm totally going to get one. And I don't know, I, I told this to, ah, oh, it was my cuñado. It goes back to my cuñado. I was telling him that and he's like, and the cuñado. Like, what? How do you even know this? Like, I don't know. I just do. Yeah. Plus, they're cool. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, you're bored. It's the middle of the night. There's nothing to watch. Animal Planet. There's tissues and I mean, oh, I mean, no. It's not, what? The animal animal planet, like in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's like fucking bad. In Discovery Channel, how they do it and they do it in the Discovery Channel. Oh, you got it. Fuck it, dude. Fuck yeah. That was my childhood right there. Masturbating to the Discovery Channel. I need to learn how to do the beep. <laughs> refill you want a refill fuck yeah yeah we're probably gonna kill the shit out of this bottle i mean it's one bottle we like one and a half mexican oh that's it it's done yeah my yeah. movie my mission 
And that concludes our podcast for today. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bed next next to us, so oh yeah. Use your imagination. <laughs> don't don't use your imagination, please. My wife said to not loosen the buttons. <laughs> Como que era, ma, me did all this thing, you know, like, don't worry. It's going to get edited. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I actually don't. <laughs> my editing is just, like, cutting, like, the first half of the, the, the beginning? Yeah, f- of course, the beginning. <laughs> trying to say the, fu- the intro, there we go. The intro. The okay. fucking intro and then the outro, just, like, the beginning, whole Beginning, intro. Yeah, instead of, like, me, like. You're going to see me walking, like, standing, like, turn on the camera or whatever. Like, I cut the thing, and I just do, like, random fun facts at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And every now and then, if I'm in a good mood, like, I'll, I'll, sh- I'll actually listen to the podcast. I'll see the whole podcast while I'm doing it, because I usually don't. And, like, <laughs> add little things and pictures. Oh, yes, yes, and yes, 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 yes. But it all depends on, on the mood. True. I mean, I guess it all depends on the Belgian beer. <laughs> I like I like that uh, setup you got porque I feel like podcasts are so easy to do. Yes, they are, and yet they are not. Why? Because I get camera shy. Oh. Um, yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, I was gonna say like, are we going back to the the bed thing or like what's going on? Oh, I <laughs> need to get that. Yeah, that would be fucking cool. Right, yeah, I need to get it, but yeah. Uh no, it's actually it's not hard i guess which i'll say like since i said like since the first episode i'm just recording as it goes or whatever and have a good like thing to say like i'll talk about it or whatever um sometimes it's better than other times when mm-hmm. i'm like actually prepare or whatnot sometimes i just like talking randomly or whatever yeah, yeah. um but it's actually not hard if you know when to not shut up i don't know that makes sense it's a podcast you have to be constantly constantly talking yeah because you're just like okay i'm gonna gonna talk about like fucking power rangers or ninja turtles Mm -hmm. right and you're like oh yeah he's all this and then yada 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 and you actually only talk for like five minutes yeah but you have the mentality of doing like a 30 minute thing yeah but you only you only go for five five minutes and then you like blank out at five minutes Mm mm-hmm and like oh, okay shit. yeah i get that and like oh, what, what do i do now and, and this and that. especially because i guess most podcasts don't really have like anything like or like you cut it off and like another thing like little clips mm-hmm. you know like, like how i do it exactly it's annoying but i love it hey, it looks fun i love it it looks fun i love and hate it yeah it's love hate kind of thing <clears> right? it really yeah. is dude forget it. I, I i just press record and I just go at it, and it could be like forty-three minutes to an hour, depending on what I'm talking about or how long I talk. And then I cut it, to and it turns minutes. into like yes, I'm like, oh, but I love it. I love the editing progress. It's like a ritual. Yeah, it's fun. Except for the lives. I so, never done. I have, a, I have a friend that he always told me like, oh, do a live, do a live. I'm like, you want me to do a live to three people? That reminds me, we got to do a live in mine. <laughs> we'll do a live at yours. Yes. Yeah, I'll totally do a live at yours. Fucking A, dude. Yeah. Cheers to the lives. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the lives. But yeah, I'm like, nah, I don't want to do a live, especially like, how the fuck am I going to do a live? I mean, it could be done. I can, but I'm the type of guy of uh, record, edit, upload it. Yeah. Because honestly, that's one thing I mention also a lot. It's like, sometimes I record an episode and we're talking like my episodes like 30, 40 minutes mm-hmm. or so. Yeah. And especially when I have like guests, they're usually like longer. Mm-hmm. But imagine like, you see you see 30 minutes, 40 minutes episode, right? Mm-hmm. But most of the times I record that like five times. Because you fuck up? Or? Yeah. Okay. Or like, it let's sucks. say I'm going halfway and I'm like, it nah, sucks. it fucking sucks. Let me do it all over again. But do you stop recording and then record again? I delete everything and record all over again. I think that's where you fuck up. Yeah. Not just... really. Well, it's because I'm going, okay, it's kind of okay. And then kind of like the whole 
five minute wall that I tell you. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's been 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then fuck, like I can't talk about anything anymore yeah. in a sense. And like, no, like, fuck, like, no, I need to do it all over again. Okay, so 15 minutes, fuck it. Okay. Forget those 15 minutes. And you just repeat it again? Repeat it. I repeat everything again <laughs> in the sense of I come up with new jokes or funny comments or whatever. Or like, because most of the times, like, I record the whole thing and like, ching, I forgot to like mention this or I forgot to do that or blah, 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 blah. Like, it was going to be like the whole point of the podcast kind of thing. Like, let's say fuck. I'm going to talk about this movie and I never talk about the fucking movie. <laughs> Right, That's like, where post editing comes in. I'm not gonna post edit another episode. Just no, no, no. <laughs> like, like, let's say you do the five minutes or whatever the fifteen, and you forgot to mention it. So just keep recording, record what you were gonna say, and just click. Nah, and then the same thing. No, uh, doesn't feel fluent. Right, it just, it just like saves you. It just saves you time. Yeah, it's kind of like right now. Like, I you know what? Like, tato feo esta pedo, way. Which actually, it's going. It's, it's good. It's fine. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's say like nah, meta, nah, fuck that fact that we already recorded for like what 30 minutes right yeah. like ching and now let's do it all over again like no otra vez we. kind of thing because so i'm doing good like something fell off yeah, yeah you're doing good you're doing good. <laughs> i actually did that where you weren't looking so that's twice <laughs> that's twice <laughs> i'm gonna edit that <clears throat> i'm not gonna you edit that s- <laughs> <laughs> wow I was. Not, I'm so sorry for that. I come prepared. Is that what? Is that what a hooker spit feels like? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Woo, it actually, it means that you come prepared. Oh yeah, I come prepared for everything. Mm. I got. I got everything in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything in here. And the hooker. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> sorry about I'm that. Totally <laughs> that was funny. I love it when that happens. See. See. I made a good episode there. And people say I'm not funny. <laughs> okay, I was just unprepared. Okay, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard. You caught me off guard. That never happens. No, it's weird. It never does. <laughs> yeah. It's the German. Yeah. It's the German. It's, it's, oh, it's actually Belgian. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That one, Le Chalita. Well, no, it's bad. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, first time someone ever spit beer on me on a podcast. <laughs> on a podcast. <laughs> on a podcast. It actually happens a couple of times. Yeah, it's what happens when you make people laugh. Don't fly to yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, yeah, that so was a good one. That was back. a good one. That was a good one. Pat in the back. High five, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing sadder than a self high five, but sometimes you need it. It's no, not. If, I do if it all nobody's the time. there, if nobody's there to give it to you, you're just like, no, fuck that. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. High five. What the fuck are you doing over there? None of your fucking so business. High five. None of your fucking business. It's a high five. Haven't you seen mm, one before? Like, <laughs> never seen a self high five before? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Never done it before? I explain a lot. Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> Little one. You're the pathetic one. Right? <laughs> you think I'm weird? You were weird for not being so high fives. <laughs> My God. Please, people. Well, it was fun. Too bad Gizmo doesn't drink. Because he like, you know, do that thing. Well, you know, you like... actually, like, they never mention if he can drink alcohol or not. They said not water. And they never said not oh, sodas. Shit, that's not... true. Boom. That's well, technically, it right wasn't there. like it wasn't so much about like him not drinking. It was don't get him wet. That's another one. So, because I'm pretty sure he had to fucking drink something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. They never fucking mentioned that. Nope. Motherfucker, fucking uh, Asian guy. The Asian guy's cool looking though. That one eye. David Hito one. Yeah. He had one eye like closed, no? Yeah. Something like that. They, yeah. Back in the 80s, they used to do that, like, with the old Asian The dude, old Asian you know? Yeah. Like, always, like, one if, eye. If it like, wasn't Miyagi style, it was that whatever style. Yeah, kind of like that movie, um, Trouble in Little China. Yeah, uh, yes. The guy seen? I, I've never seen the whole like thing, but too, I know what you're like, talking about. Yeah. Oh, like, an 80s 
Yeah. Racist thing, I guess. I don't know. True, true, true. And now, now, and I only say this because, uh, what's it called? My wife is so into the whole BTS thing. You like? Do you like BTS? Do you know who BTS is? I know that BTS stands for a boy band from Korea. Yes. No. Were they Koreans? No, yes, they're Koreans. Yeah, they're Koreans. And I'm always saying uh, Koreans are so in right now because of BTS. Is it because of BTS or is it because of Netflix majority of Asian shows are from Korea? Like the hit ones. I think it's both. But I think the one who opened the door to uh, the whole Korean uh, wave right now is this day. What the hell was his name? The guy who uh, sings Gundam style? Up on Gundam style, man. Yes, the metal. What that the guy, I don't know, but that, that guy was like fucking 10, 15 years ago, dude. Yeah, but he was the one that opened the doors to all this Korean What's shit. Wasn't also the, I got a pen. I got a knuckle. <laughs> mm. No, that guy was just like 15 minutes of fame. That was it. Uh, it was a cat. God, I can't remember his fucking name. But that guy. He, but he, yeah, I know, like, yeah, I know. I know who he is. And I think he came back like a few years yeah he did right? like, I actually did a video re- uh reviewing his comeback my my wife's idea <laughs> yeah blame it on the wife but to be fair i kind of did like gundam style i liked gundam style in fact i think we even danced it at one of my birthdays or something like that between all my friends as wow. it literally it was, was like a di- like a party. disney movies like people just like spontaneously just start like thingy? dancing together. That's what happened. Like that. Yeah, it, like it just happened. Just everyone like... just so happened to know the dance, and everyone just started dancing. I mean, it's not that hard. A little bit. It kind of sort of is. I I want to see you dance it after. <laughs> <laughs> like actually, <laughs> uh, I need to see the movie. I haven't seen it in years, so but yeah. Es que tengo que stretchy. I mean, <laughs> uh, after thirty's not the same, you know. <sighs> mm-hmm. That's true, man. I gotta stretch before I skate now. Fuck. Fun <laughs> fact. Fun fact. Uh, what's the last year? Two years ago. Uh, my nieces wanted to learn how to skateboard and everything. So my brother-in-law got them some skateboards, and they actually got me a skateboard. It's mm, pretty fucking badass. It's like the Mandalorian fucking helmet thingy. And honestly, I have not skated since we used to skate together. That was a Jesus. long time. It was a long fucking ass time. So ago. you haven't tried it anymore? I tried it that one time. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I had to like oh, tighten the trunk and everything. Okay. It was all loose. Yeah. That had never happened to me before. You know, like I tried to do a nollie, right? It was literally, I, I, I honestly, I was the uncle in that moment. I was the uncle trying the to be uncle. cool. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like I just kind of like go and fucking skateboard flies away and, and you let like, right in your fucking face fucking on the side slow motion <laughs> shit boom <laughs> that never shit happened to me before I'm yeah like, i mean la madre. i i ate shit a couple weeks ago i landed on my side and uh i was trying a a fecky a fecky big spin i fell right on my hip i got pissed and I got personal after that. And after like 10 tries, I got it. And then for, for like, and then for a week, I was sore. Yeah. <laughs> I was sore for a week. But it, it's gone and I, I, I want to try it again. Because I, I, I started <laughs> wanting to skate not only because I miss skateboarding. Because I'm also trying to lose weight that way. Yeah. Yeah. Once you hit a certain number in your age. You don't just, well... You need to be more careful with skateboards. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm getting a helmet. <laughs> not because of, of my age. Not because of my age. But because, like, I have kids now, and, and she sees me doing it. And uh, she went through some shit, and I feel like I need to put a helmet on her, and she won't do it unless she sees me do it. Yeah. So. Sure, now. Blame the daughter. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not the age, guys. It's not the age. And also, there's some really cool helmets out there. There's, like, Bluetooth like install no, my man for real dude you can Shit. jam with the fucking helmet on and <laughs> 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 fucking 
blasting out exactly. the speaker on the phone. Exactly. <clears throat> right, right here, bro. Right here. Putting a vasito and you put the phone there and just put it on the side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn. I want one of those. Because I, I wear uh, earbuds when I skate anyways. I like music when I skate. Yeah. And the helmet is just like, I don't know. It just makes sense. It kind of makes I mean, bikers helmets have uh, Bluetooth and stuff. That's true. That's true. So I wouldn't a uh, helmet for skateboarding. A Mandalorian <laughs> helmet with built-in Bluetooth. Make it happen. Make it happen. I want that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Suena como buena idea, güey. Right? Fucking Mandalorian helmet with fucking skating, güey. Escuchando rolas acá bien chido, güey. Fucking A, like, hey, dude. This is the way, motherfucker. You just fucking ollie the way out of this it. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> That'll be cool. Fuck or a Batman yeah. helmet. Mm. Yes. A Batman helmet. What else would be cool as a helmet? Who has a cool mask? That's a cool mask. I'm looking at your damn posters and I can't fucking think of one. It would be maybe. No, I mean, men. Oh, Darth Vader helmet would be fucking bad as with the Bluetooth. Minus this part. And but then, just but like... then you look weird. You just look oh. like a giant peepee head. I, I never understood why they do why they did that. Like, one of the thing about Star Wars, like everything is fucking awesome from like the original films, like the four, five, and six, mm -hmm. right? The one that came out back in the eighties. Yeah. Everything's fucking awesome. Everything is badass. Even nowadays with all fucking technology of Avatar and this and that. I don't give a fuck. Those movies, for the time, está con madre el pedo, right? Yeah. But then you had Darth Vader with like the fucking... The dickhead. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Why? And then fucking 20 years later, you bring out the fucking Sid before him, which was Darth Maul with like fucking cuernos on the head or whatever. Like... Well, he, he was a different uh, species or race or whatever. I know, but still. I mean, Vader was technically human. I'm, technically, I mean, he's human. Darth Vader is human. Yeah. It's just, well, he needs to be inside a suit to survive. True. But was he human? Because he wasn't he was really. Because the mom wasn't technically. There were human. She wasn't boinked. There were humanoid species. But she wasn't boinked. She was human. She looked like a human. Yeah, he was. He looked human, but can you she really consider him? She human? didn't look like the blue thing that was like their owner. The, Those Jedi mind tricks won't work on me. That's true. So yeah, like, it was a humanoid. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the dice, Jedi. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, fucking ratchet guy. With the, with the, with the thick nose. Or the uncircumcised dick nose. The, <laughs> the uncircumcised dick nose. Tewe. I see. The Gonzo guy from Muppets. Oh, yeah. 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 But with wings. But with wings. Yeah. And fat. It's kind of like after his Hollywood career has ended. A, has a drinking problem. Yeah. <laughs> like he wasn't famous anymore. So he started like drinking and made up like a YouTube channel and about and beer. Before situation. <laughs> 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 made, a, made a YouTube channel about like beer reviews and then he would say like Aww. he was an alcoholic and <laughs> <laughs> moved to another planet <laughs> this guy yep. I'm gonna take it just cause I accidentally spit on your shit <laughs> I need to get that one yeah yeah. <laughs> and, and I need to get that one win if you're gonna turn it into a short you should like zoom in <laughs> Right. I'm I'll, 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 I'll get like the screenshot from there and like just make it into a shirt. And I'll give it to you. Where are you coming out of? Dude. That'll be fun. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's only, I'm totally gonna fucking get it. It's gonna be a thing. You can maybe even turn that to a hashtag somehow. How? I don't know. But you can turn anything to a hashtag. I know. Like, yeah, really, yes, you can. Like, hashtag into a hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag better dickhead. Yes. Hashtag, I'm going to have to beep the whole show. Nah, I'm not going <laughs> to beep anything. I mean, do you really have to, like, beep stuff nowadays? Like, as long as you put explicit on your thing. It's, if we're going to get into that. Then again, I am not famous. <laughs> no, no, it, you don't have to be, like, you don't have to have, like, a bazillion fucking subscribers. YouTube now, I'm going to get a little technical. YouTube now, just updated it. 
if you curse in the first eight or 30 seconds of the beginning of your video, it's going to get whether removed or you're going to get a strike. Ah, qué bueno que lo digo en español. <laughs> <laughs> they have translators. Yeah, hey, like imagine like the first five minutes. Oh, this video. Uh, no. This episode is brought to you by Putas. the one that carry you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> El que te cargo. El chile. <laughs> you know, like. But no, I don't know. We're just getting so weird now, man. It really is. I mean, I stopped. I stopped censoring my shit. I even announced when I was going to stop. Uh, I never did. That's good. Cause it's a pain in the ass. Is it? It really is. Okay, I'm not gonna. You can't like. <laughs> there's no program where it will do it for you. You have to manually go through the video and bleep it. Put the bleep. Yeah, I'm totally gonna fucking bleep it. <laughs> You're gonna bleep it. Fuck no. <laughs> Maybe I'll bleep some stuff at the beginning. Just for fun, and then once they get like, to like this so, point, they're so gonna YouTube realize. Won't get, remove it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're watching the first eight minutes. I mean, Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. YouTube's weird. They're always changing shit. Yeah. I guess. I mean, are they? Really? I never noticed anything. I have been studying YouTube because I've been trying to keep up with the shit. Because <laughs> I mean, I record, upload, and fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. You're just winging it. Yeah. Then again, I, like I think, like maybe since all my episodes are in Spanish, they're like, "What the fuck is he saying?" No, they have translators. Really? Yeah. I mean, the algorithm. Like, do they have translators? Like, is there someone well, maybe, really behind or maybe like not, an AI? Maybe no. It's the algorithm. So the YouTube algorithm. They're like an A, like an arg- algorithm, it's, it's, like waiting for me to say like certain slang words in Spanish. I guess. I guess but it it, it it does read. All languages, so yes, you really yes. Mm, I, I mean, have you seen the Afghanistani fucking YouTube videos? Those no. like instructional videos. No, les like entiendo, wey. Como que es que los vea. <laughs> no, because like, like, let's say, like, you have this product here, right? And you want to know more about it, or like, you want to like search it up or whatever. Okay, and they come up. Okay, I, I and you click on it. You look, look at dum dum da ba da ba da da, and you're like, what the fuck is? This? <laughs> I know that. Like one time, I was like, like, I, like I want to buy something and. But there was no like reviews or anything. And on that's the, the only thing, one right? you get, right? See, and I'm like, oh, so, oh, let me Google it or whatever. Like, let me look it on YouTube or whatever. And that was the only thing that came out. I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? I don't understand <laughs> what he's saying. I speak two languages. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, it, it picks it up. It does pick it up. Hmm, that's funny. Eh, whatever. But yeah. I yeah, like how yeah. you're just winging it. As long as I get my three likes, it's fine. Yeah. It's it's a tough gig, man. It's a tough gig. It is. I mean, you're funny, but you want to be funny. Or... Nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, hey, it's a... Uh... It's something that... It, it's fun to do, because I, I really, really enjoy doing yeah, it. Yeah, it is. It is. But uh, you're not going to get famous... Overnight, there's people who have, but sure, you like, can get famous. You can get famous. I just do it for fun. No, I do it too. But then, and then, uh, I saw how you can actually make money out of it. So I'm like, fuck, fuck it. I'm gonna go for that. I should look up into that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> like, I should look up into that. You no, can you make money should. Out of it. You can make mar- right <clears throat> now. I'm about to fucking entrepreneur the shit out of this. Right now is the best <laughs> time. To make video content. Now it's all about video. And people are making... Like even like local businesses. I don't know if you saw... There's this one chick. She opened <clears throat> up a... The, the fucking... What was it? The slime shop on fucking Loop 20 and Clark. I don't know if you know about that. Shit, no. Well, it's a slime shop. A slime shop. Like, that, the, like slime the slime thingy? That the kids play with. A slime shop. That she opened up... Like to go buy slime. Yes. Customized slime, I mean, it, but it's slime, a fucking slime shop, and she just released a video to like, you know, let people know about it. So more people, d- just by doing that, people now more people know about it. Besides the people whose kids are into slime and just so happen to drive by and be like, "Oh, look, a slime shop! My kid would love this." Yeah. And she puts out a video. Now more people know about it. Damn. And not only that, I think she even might have opened a secondary location at the downtown mall. Slime shops. Yeah. 
Yeah. So right now, content is fuck the thing podcast. Right I'm gonna open a slime shop. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about it. Hey, I mean, <clears throat> kids yeah. love slime. Exactly. Like that guy. That was actually a guy. I don't know his name, but it was a guy that used to do like children's kind of like shows on YouTube, like learning thing, whatever. Blippy. Is it that one? I don't know. I know Blippy. I think it's that one. He started in YouTube now. He has like Orange, Netflix. Blue. Yes. That's Blippy. And then like now has like Netflix and like shows and shit like that. And like, I might do that. I've I have, some, I have some juicy shit about Blippy. E- it's, it's a little, we'll talk about it after work. Okay. After, after right. the show, yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah, it's... <laughs> well, I'll keep it for the next episode, bro. <laughs> bueno. But yeah, we're... Finally, on our last drop of I already finished it. Belgian, or like you like to call it, a uh, German beer. Well, yeah, you, we'll just call it Belgian. I mean, it's we'll called it Belgian. It's Belgian. Yes. You know, it's, I'm not gonna call it Mexican or Chilean beers. Well, I mean, Belgian. you can, but that doesn't make it right. Yeah, I know. That's because we're we're point. we're in that we're also in that state of, of not age, but. You know how the whole then they basically thing. get your shit right. Yeah. Well, nice having you in the show. It was fun. Este, where can people find you on social media? You can find me pretty much anywhere. Fucking TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. What am I missing? Did I say TikTok? I don't remember if I said TikTok. I think you did. And this concludes episode 18 of El Podcast de Alonso Lopez, which was the first episode in English. And also, I'm doing this little thing at the end because I had some technical issues with the camera and the audio and everything, which uh, didn't actually record at the ending or anything of the sort. So just cut off like that. And this is me explaining that. So, yeah, if you have any questions or anything about any type of beers, you can totally contact my buddy on his i believe he said instagram twitter facebook only fans as boost and chill and yeah i call it i was calling it buzz and chill the whole time it's that's not it's boost boost has pistol biranga beers you know and you have any questions yeah send him a message or anything follow him on the social media say youtube and everything same as me, as always, you know it. Uh, you can find El Podcast de Alonso Lopez on YouTube, and Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. And also social media, same thing. You can totally find me on social media. It's Chibito, two Bs, two Ts. have any questions, why the name is like that, you can totally ask me. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy the episode. See you next time. 